iOS 18 just came out pretty recently and a lot of you are wanting to downgrade back to iOS 17. So in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you all exactly how you can do that. Now, the reasons for downgrading back to iOS 17 could be for battery concerns and for bug fixes. So let's just dive right into the video. Also, one thing to mention before we start the tutorial is that your phone will be fully erased in the process and you could still save your photos by going up to settings, then go down to photos and then just enable iCloud photos and then the photos will be saved through your iCloud. So first off, you'll need to get a charging cable to connect your phone to your computer. And once you get that plugged in, you might get a notification that asks you whether or not to trust the computer. So just press on trust and then just go ahead and open up your computer. Next, what you wanna do is just head over to your web browser and then just type in ipsw.me and select iPhone. And then just select whichever iPhone model that you have. So for example, I have the iPhone 12 mini, so I'm gonna be selecting that. And just select whichever one of the iOS versions that you wanna to downgrade to. So I'm gonna be downgrading to iOS 17.5.1. And just press on download. And next thing that you wanna do is just press on save. And while we're waiting for that to download, we're just gonna go onto our phone and go into settings and next thing that you want to do is just press on your profile at the top and tap on find my you need to make sure that it's disabled because otherwise it won't allow you to downgrade the ios version now once your ios 17 file has finished downloading what you want to do is on the mac you can just open finder and press on your device on the side of the screen and press on trust and once that has loaded just hold down on the option key on your mac and press on restore iPhone and select the file that you just downloaded. And once you've selected that, just press on open and press on restore. And now just wait for your iPhone to finish downgrading. But like I said earlier, the steps on Windows will be a bit different. So first off, just download iTunes off the Microsoft Store. And once you've done that, just open iTunes and go through the setup screen and press on the button on the top left corner and the next thing that you need to do is just press on the restore iPhone while holding down on the shift key and then just select whichever file that you just downloaded. So all you need to do now is just wait for your iPhone to finish downgrading and that's pretty much all there is to it. Now that your iPhone has been fully downgraded, just go ahead and set it up. And if you have an iOS 17 backup, then you can restore your iPhone from there. But an iOS 18 backup won't work because you're on an earlier iOS version. Now, once your iPhone has been downgraded, you can just go into settings, then general and about, and you'll see that your iPhone will be on iOS 17. Now that's basically all there is for this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and check out my channel to see more videos like this in the future.